Hello, this is Dan Farisi, Editor-in-Chief with Commercial Integrator here at the HD Base T booth. So happy to be joined by Chris Miller, who is Executive Director of PSNI Global Alliance. Pleasure to see you again, Chris. Oh, great to see you as well. I, I guess it's been a few months since we've uh, been together, so. Yes, And yeah. it's great to be here. It, it's great to be here. I had a wonderful time at Super Summit, of course, and I'm glad to see you here at Infocom. Uh, and I know you're, you're here at the HD Base T booth, and you're going to be chatting with the folks here after we're done chatting. Right, but right. give me your top line overview of the importance of HD Base T and what they represent to integrators and the AV community broadly. Yeah, you know, I, we're looking not only at a situation like this, but, but the more we have a, a clear understanding of standards, how that applies across a global perspective. It's really important to us. We just need to keep a, a, a steady flow of education, training, and understanding of any new standard or any new processes that are being, being laid out there. It does seem like our industry, and I know it wasn't something we immediately glommed onto, but it does seem like we're moving more in the direction of standardization, uniformity, yeah. finding ways to kind of organize our right. operations. Right. What do you think are the virtues of that? Well, I think it, as an industry, we have been so disparate mm -hmm. and bespoke in all that we do. I think it's, it's had a negative connotation to an end user who typically doesn't want that. That doesn't feel good to them. They want to have standards, and then as they expand, they grow, that all those processes, uh, all that technology is standardized across it, similar to what they live with in the IT world mm -hmm. that we don't so much in the AV world. Yeah. I think you're kind of uniquely positioned to comment on some of this because you have access to your PVPs, your preferred vendor right. partners, you have access right. to your CSPs, your certified solution providers. Right. You have really a unique vantage point of access into the very the strongest players, the leaders in our industry. Is right. this something that they are talking about, whether it's at Super Summit, other kind of PSNI discussions, they're talking about standards, they're talking about ways to better our industry, not just their business, but our industry as a whole? I think so, and, and, and standards across the technology spectrum, in addition to the, the way in which we do our business. Again, it's, the industry isn't pushing these standards up. Um, it's the end user community that's expecting us to bring those up. Mm -hmm. and, and so when organizations like this as well, um, we have, We've just got to adapt to a standard approach, especially globally, as you just said. Um, there are so many differences, and I mean, AV is so unique around the world. So much in common, so many differences. Um, and if you're a global end user, um, you, you will desire to have the least amount of disparate processes that you can, yeah. if you can. And, and it makes intuitive sense. And I do feel like on our industry, at least in the 20 years or so that I've been part of it, I've seen a continued empowerment of end users where we're yep. taking their guidance, their wisdom, their needs ever yeah. more into account as opposed to saying, well, this is our workflow, this is our process. Yeah. I think we're being more solicitous and finding out what they want. Absolutely. And you saw this in, early in the industry. As you can tell, I'm one of the old guys in the industry. <laughs> we for years, especially in the production and broadcast side of the business, you found that it was um, the Sonys of the world, um, uh, the Panasonics, the JVCs, um, gosh, I'll go way back, the Ampexes, those that were the leaders in the broadcast side of the world, they would develop technology, bring it to the market and say, here's what you have. Mm -hmm. Now, you need to conform what you do to the to quality of the technology we give you. And at some point as that started to mature and the end user became um, more engaged with ROI and looking at what they were getting from all this, then the script flipped. Mm -hmm. And then they said, yeah, but that doesn't solve my problem. No. I need this. And there were companies who then began, began to sit down and look at it and say, um, you're right, we can do that. That makes more sense. Yeah. Um, and so this generation is really, 
I'm not sure they've seen it any other way. The end user is certainly very, very involved now. Mm -hmm. And we find it within our group is that we have technical processes that we adhere to across our network, but sometimes we have to stop and go, is that for us or is that the best interest of the end user? Mm -hmm. And and sometimes th those two have to come together again. <laughs> they do, they do. No, if we're not taking into account the best interests and the needs of the end user, yeah. we're, we're doing something wrong. Yes. Um, thank you so much, Chris. It's yeah, always great. educational. It's always illuminating to chat with you. I appreciate you, you taking the time. Very good. I am happy to have been joined by Chris Miller, who is Executive Director with PSNI Global Alliance. My name is Dan Farisi, Editor-in-Chief with Commercial Integrator here at the HD Base T booth at Infocom. Thanks so much.